Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on the Bunker E15 Law Sector. We're doing it on Master Difficulty, which is 1280. The modifiers are you take more damage in the air, more arc damage, more void damage, and Vex Hobgoblins produce radio larian pulls when you kill them, and we've also got attrition. So I'm doing it on Top Tree Nova. I'm using Nightwatch. Last Petition and Anarchy. The mods are set up. Now, I didn't have these mods, all these mods on when I done the run, but this is really going to help you if you use them. It's the chest plate. The chest plate, I didn't have double grenade launcher reserves, and I also didn't have high energy fire on. So that will make this run even better for you guys. Now, this really is tentative. As you can see, I'm 1267, so I'm 13 power levels below the recommended level to do this. But I wanted to start getting these masters out there. So doing this, we're going to have to be really, really careful. Attrition means unless we're picking up those little fonts of light, we really can't take too much damage. We've got the rift, so we'll have to utilize that. But very, very interestingly, I noticed that especially with these champions... If you stick them with the Anarchy, they res faster. Now, I have tested this out quite a bit. This this first uh, overload, you've got obviously overloading barriers. Uh, I think I think there's like, literally there's one more overload maybe, and definitely one more barrier than there was on the normal. But, yeah, and you take more damage, obviously. If you just grenade, because obviously we've got, we got the, the surge... Uh, mod on my class item so i get a grenade back every time i stun an overload if you just do that and as you'll see here i kind of stop shooting you'll see when we get get a kind of straight shot at him i stop shooting just momentarily just to give make sure that i'm not having to reload before i'm actually going to stop him so i want to make sure i'm not reloading before i stop him that i've got enough ammunition that when he is unstunned I can hit him straight away and it seems like I, I stun him every time that happens you don't want want to let him regenerate his health too much so I'm just gonna do like a, a zigzag line that goes through all of these goblins I don't really want to use my grenade because we're gonna use it on this minotaur down here everything so far is pretty straightforward very simple so I'm gonna toss my grenade there but I'm not gonna take my eyes off him in case he decides to do Lympha Christine come after me, which he didn't. He does do that sometimes, so just be prepared. You'll pr you might have to perform a finisher. Got my grenade back, which is cool, because when we get in here, we're going to need it. Now, we're going to do all our best work from this area, so we're going to put put an anarchy on that sniper. Now, we're going to get another sniper. So as soon as I throw this grenade, I'm going to get up into cover, and you'll see up on the, up on the gangway, there he is. Don't let him become too kind of familiar with you because he will kill you and that grenade will kill you as well there's one more normal hobgoblin now there he is so i'll stick him and then we're good we're good from snipers there are two barrier champions in here this is one of the additional champions you get as soon as you clear those ads there you're going to get a cyclops which we want to take down obviously pretty quickly you can when this when you see that spawn coming in that's you're getting a hobgoblin. Uh, 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 but you, you've already got a couple of hobgoblins. You're getting a cyclops. So I just try and just jump up here and just tag him a couple of times. I know some people are going to say, oh, what am I going to do if I don't have the anarchy? Listen, I'm I'm under leveled. So I don't feel any way about using what I've got at my disposal. I can understand I've tried to, I've tried to change uh, weapons for people that don't have the anarchy. But for stuff like this, we are under leveled, so um, I kind of have to just go with this a little bit. So I'm going to stick him again, which bounced off him. I knew he was going to shield again. If you miss an overload uh, barrier champion shield, they will shield immediately, almost immediately after after they put you know unshield. They'll reshield again almost immediately. So just be wary of that. The cool thing about attrition is obviously it gives you health back, but it it keeps giving you your health back for a couple of seconds. So you can be a little bit, uh, I don't know, adventurous, I suppose, when you've got it because it will heal you for the next three to five seconds. 
So pick up your, your heavy ammo. As you can see, I'm, I'm trying to always be... It makes it slightly difficult for, you, for me or for you as a player. But I'm trying to stay as much in cover as possible. Even though I know I've got to do damage. Because so many things in this lost sector will kill you. Because nearly all the enemies do... The heavy duty enemies do void. So when you get in this area, we are going to stay here, but we are going to have to back all the way back down that, that ramp because there are two enemies coming in that will kill you very, very quickly, and that's the two overloads. You start with one, and then obviously you're going to get another one. But when they charge, because they're the Minotaur type of overloads, uh, there's my cabaret dancer. We'll just put a couple on him. That should finish him. Uh, for anybody that didn't see my video earlier, I've, I've likened the, the wyverns to Vex uh, cabaret dancers because they look like they're, they look like showgirls in Las Vegas. <laughs> they look like they're about to start doing the can cam. So this is us. When the room goes red, we're getting the boss. We're getting some ads, and we're also getting the the, the first of what two overloads. Now I'm, you'll see during this run, I keep descoping. So what I'm going to do here. I'm not going to Nova him. I've kept my Nova specifically for him. We want to stop him. Now he... The overloads in this are really kind of weird because if he'd have came around the corner, he would have had full health before he even got around there. It seems like stopping them doesn't actually... Stunning them doesn't actually stop them from doing damage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the opportunity. He's not here. I just got a bit too anarchy on the boss. Now the great thing about the great thing about these ads, these these security drones that you've been releasing, they just hammer away at the boss. And the first, this is the second time I've done this. The first time, by the time I was ready to do damage, they've moved the boss to his third location. So, although they are a pain in the backside at times, they actually are really helpful when it comes to the boss. Now I am being really careful. The boss has now moved in front of this opening. I'm being as careful as I can be because I am expecting the overload to just encroach me. And if I'm in a compromising position, he will just literally kill you within seconds of seeing you. I mean, it's like, hit you twice, you're dead. There he is. So I want to stop him. So Nova. And then I'm going to get out of there because I can't allow him to be in close proximity. I need to stop him again. And then put a grenade. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to use this little thing here for cover. And I'm getting good damage. I want to be able to finish him. There we go. Nearly went south, but you'll nearly always get an attrition bubble from him. Now, what I can tell you for the next overload, the next overload when he comes in if he's not already in... 9 out of 10 times, the next overload won't push you. He will go after the security drones. You just have to be make sure that you don't make yourself too available to him. You don't want him encroaching you. You can see I'm being really tentative because a good run. And I do, don't want my over-enthusiastic uh, positioning to ruin it. Because if the overload gets with... Uh, if he gets word that I'm here, or he senses that I'm here... Then he might push me then. But as you can see he's up on the platform on the right hand side. Most of the time he will actually engage the security drones and just leave you alone. And then you'll get that unlucky time where he'll come charge around the corner and teleport and there's nothing you can do about it. As I say, exactly what I said about the, the overload at the start. It is best to not use the anarchy on the overloads. You know, and and, and if... I tried to figure a different way to do it, and there probably is a much better way to do it than the way that I've done it here. Uh, as you can see, I, every time I see red on the map, I am backing away in case the overloads decided to take a stroll over here to see what we're up to. The ads do a lot of damage as well, but you've got to, you've got to factor in that 13 power levels are under. They, they've got that deep red kind of marker above them to tell you that they're you're under-leveled to be fighting them. So yeah, the, the, the overloads it works a lot better if you don't uh, if you don't actually put any anarchy on them at all. It just stops that 
they do this crazy regeneration thing and it's it's super annoying but uh if you don't anarchy them you just grenade and, and scout rifle them you'll be cool you'll be able to keep that health down they won't be able to regen to, to, to full which they've got a, a bad habit of doing so the idea now you see the boss is really low the idea now is is to get the boss dead <laughs> basically then I did think once I killed the boss, I was thinking, should I? I'm just looking at to see who the who they're shooting at. He's still up there. The drones give you an idea of where he is. And I'm running and I'm running, and it wasn't the overload because the overload is still up on the platform. The ads they do crazy damage. So you, I don't take the chance when you when we are talking about a solo master flawless. I ain't taking the chance that I can kill him before he kills me. Boss is really low, so if I can get rid of the boss, that would be that would be perfect. And then I can maybe from a different angle, which is what I'm going to end up doing, I can attack the overload from a bit, bit of a safer position. Uh, use the room to my advantage. You can't go out in this room... Uh, power level or not, you wouldn't be... I, <laughs> It'd be suicide to, to attempt to run around this room because the overloads do, do void. Void is increased by 50%. I don't even think a well would save you. No chance. So the boss is dead. I'm now tentatively looking for the overload and there he is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop him and I'm going to put a grenade on him and the Nova and then I'm going to get out of there. And what you'll see is a perfect example. There's another overload. Now, until... And, and this is kind of how, how kind of thingy it gets sometimes when you're doing stuff like this. It was that hectic when I was doing it. I didn't even realise there was two. So there you go. That's the run, guys. Take it slow. Don't rush in on anything. Make sure you're in total cover. Use the, use the area the way I've, I've used it. If you don't have the anarchy you've seen... I hope you've seen, you probably could have got away with using uh, a different weapon here, very easily. You could have got away with using the, the Xenophage here with the Warmind build. But that's the run guys, thanks a lot for watching, there will be more of these masters. Uh, now that I've done the first one, I've got a taste for it, let's see if we can get them all done. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps you, if you did enjoy it, a like rating is going to help the video tons. Thanks a lot for watching, and until the next video... Take it easy.